today on the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. Well, Wade's been coming to Salt River Outfitters for the past three years in search of a velvet whitetail buck. Now, after many encounters, will this be the time? Find out on this episode of the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. In this episode of the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries, well, we're wrapping up our 2019 Velvet Whitetail Hunt here at Salt River Outfitters. Wade and the crew have been coming here for the past three years, so let's hear what makes this place so special. That's, that's what everybody's here for is the velvet. A lot of states, you know, you can't have a velvet buck, and that's just what everybody wants. These guys have been hunting me eight years, some of them, some of them nine years, and they, they just love it here. I love, I love having them here, and it's... I look forward to this hunt more than anything just because it's we're all friends. You know, they're not clients, they're friends. Oh, Salt River, they, they do a good job of feeding you and taking care of you and going the extra mile to make sure they know what the deer's patterns are going to be and, and the deer. They grow big deer and they're all known for big deer and got some of the best hunting in the state of Kentucky. Real fun. I mean, I, I can't think of anything else I'd rather do in September. Absolutely, hands down, the best hunt in the country. And I mean, to us, it's almost, it's became a tradition for a lot of us that have became such close friends that we're, we consider each other family now. We just try to make people's dreams come true. You know, everybody comes here to kill that once in a lifetime buck and that's just what we do. You know, we try to make everybody's dreams come true. The best way to follow and contact Salt River Outfitters is through their Facebook and Instagram. And they'll be happy to help you book your dream velvet whitetail hunt. Let's take a look back at Wade's first ever hunt at Salt River Outfitters and see where his velvet whitetail addiction here in Kentucky began. Coming out of the right, there was a couple of cedar trees there and here was coming a stud, and this stud was in velvet. My heart instantly started going up. I could feel the excitement, and you know, he's easing, and I'm thinking, this deer is on a string. He's gonna work down this little edge of this food plot. He's, he's gonna cross 13, maybe 15 yards by, and I've got a, a, a tree limb hanging right there that I know he has to get past before Kevin can see him, but he also has to get past that before I can get a shot. And I'm just sitting there, bow's on a hanger, and I've just got my hands on the bow waiting to lift it off. I'll just smoothly go to full draw. I mean, this was, this was going to be about as easy as a setup as a guy could have. And the deer stopped. And he stood there. And he stood there. And he stood there. And my heart rate went up. My heart rate went up even more. And I, I mean, I'm just sitting there watching this deer, and he's not even really moving. He's just kind of hanging out. He never really turned the right way. Could I have taken that shot? Could I have killed him? Absolutely. But it was more apt to wound him. At least that was the angle that I kept seeing in my mind from where I was. So in those types of situations, you just, there's no need. There's no need to take that shot. I kept waiting for that deer to come the right way. He just simply went the other way. And with that encounter, Wade's heart was set on getting a velvet buck here in Kentucky. Stay tuned as we continue to recap Wade's journey and catch up with him as he finally gets the opportunity to draw on one. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Garmin Zero. Leave the guesswork behind. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus, free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com.
Inside every Yamaha lives the heart and soul of a competitor. The DNA of a champion. When you ride with us, it revs your heart and becomes a part of you too. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. As we continue to look back in the Kentucky Velvet Whitetail chapter of the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries, well, we turn to the 2018 season, where Wade is joined by Steve Nessel of Yamaha Outdoors. Wade fell in love with a giant whitetail found on the scouting cameras and was set on that deer. Even though he had some great encounters, the one he was after never showed. Steve had some great encounters as well, including this velvet whitetail, which was just out of reach. Needless to say, both of them were going to come back the following year. And that's where we'll pick it all up at. It's day two of their hunt, and Steve is off to a place called the Swamp Stand, and Wade is up in a ladder stand, but things aren't looking good, with the sounds of a local farm dog ringing through the trees. As Wade headed back to camp, Steve got a shot on a great buck still in the process of shedding his velvet. The group banded together, tracked the buck, and were able to celebrate Steve's success. When we return, Wade sits at the swamp stand for his last hunt of the trip. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Thompson Center, America's master gunmaker. Stealth Cam digital scouting cameras, proven. Conquest Sense, Hunt Sense, and Dog Training Sense. High Vis Shooting Systems. See what you've been missing. How do you aim a 36 yard shot with a 30 yard fixed pin? at a 15 degree angle with a seven inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero, the auto ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. 
The Thompson Center Compass II, a feature-rich rifle packed with value and a higher standard of reliable accuracy. Now with Generation 2 trigger and threaded muzzle, offered in scoped and non-scoped versions and in a wide variety of calibers, from the range to the fields to the mountains, TC has a rifle to match every hunter's needs. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. For Wade's last hunt, we'll join him at the swamp stand, as the wind isn't favorable at his other stands, but perfect for this one. Session to, to hunt these early season whitetail, and when the temperatures are in the 80s and 90s and hundreds, and and most people haven't even started thinking about buying their hunting license yet. It's an obsession that if you like to whitetail hunt, Kentucky is one of the states that offers a great opportunity to be able to go do it, and uh, and create more hunting opportunities. And when you go to this the camp that we're with, you know you you see the camaraderie of 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 deer hunters from all over the nation. Many of them have been hunting with George Cummings and Salt Rivers for years. And uh, you know, you go hang out with them at the at the camp and you watch them, you know, watch football and play ping pong and you know, have a golf tournament every year. Uh, you know, just fun things and whether you get one or not, it's it's, you know, a common bond that brings people out to the field this time of the year. And you know, we're sitting here waiting now for the sun to get behind that hill. The shadows to come across this field that they that they planted and see what comes in. Maybe we get lucky and it's a big one. Maybe it's raccoons, does. I mean, I saw a bald eagle the other day down on this pasture when we were coming through here. So it's just going to be a good hunt regardless. Whatever's supposed to happen with the deer tonight, it's going to happen. We know there's shooters here. Just need them to show up. Coming down the hill towards Wade was a big, solid whitetail buck. And though he's already shed his velvet, Wade couldn't pass on a buck like this.
Hello? To go under him? So I totally missed. When we return, we'll learn the fate of this Kentucky whitetail and Wade's hunt. Stay tuned. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Performance when it matters most. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Engel Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. Others decock. We do it safely. The new AccuSlide safe decocking system revolutionizes the crossbow market. Simply backwind the handle, stopping at any point without fear of damage, injury, or losing control. Meet the new Vengeant S440 and Viper S400 featuring the AccuSlide. Speed up to 440 feet per second, 5.8 inches wide. Its three and a half pound zero creep trigger delivers same hole accuracy. The Vengeant S440 and Viper S400 from 10 point. To me, the Performance Center by Smith & Wesson means taking the best and making it better. Regardless if I'm passing on the traditions of hunting or teaching someone new about the outdoors, I know that using a Performance Center handgun will be something they will remember for the rest of their lives. Every model comes with an awesome trigger. They're reliable in all the conditions as well as offering a variety of sight and scope mounting capabilities. The Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Well, as sun begins to set, Wade can do nothing but wait to see if the buck he missed would return. Unfortunately, he did not. stuff on it. What do you see? I'm confused. I mean, it looks, I see it on the fletching too. I mean, I, let's go look on the video. Got out, went back and looked at the footage and uh, just made the decision to, based on the angle of the shot, to just wait all night. And uh, so now we're back, and we're just gonna go look for a little blood, look for a little sign, and then kind of start making a plan from there. That's that's all we can do at this point. Ah, I'd say there's a lot of blood. He stood right there for that's where he stood. Well, I mean, he stood there and bled for a while. This is, you know, where he stood. I mean, that's positive, but you know, then he goes in here, and like I said, we see him bleeding. I mean, we found blood here, and we can see him panting when he went in here, but I just, I just don't know. That's a lot of blood right there. 
that's a positive sign. That's a lot of blood right there. You can see still some of the food plot behind us. He went in, once you can see on the video, he's gone around, he's crossed this old logging road. And he's steadily going up this trail. I mean, blood far better than what we expected in reality, but you know, the good thing is we didn't push him last night. You know, we're hoping he just went in here and bedded down and expired and then we'll just walk up on him. So we're we'll gonna keep going. That's blood. That's blood. You know, we tracked him for, we tracked blood for probably 100, 125 yards. Uh, you know, good sign at times, but in my mind the whole time, I'm thinking, eh, I'm not really feeling comfortable here. He's not, he's obviously not running to die. He's not, you know, he was kind of walking and standing. He was going straight up the mountain the whole time, just straight up the mountain. And Jeff and I would both find a drop or two of blood here, and then we'd lose the track and we'd find a splotch of blood, we'd get back on it. And then Jeff found where he bedded down, and uh, but there wasn't a lot there. And you know, from there, we, we never found any more blood, we never found anything else. And you know, sometimes the best uh, plans and all the practice and all the efforts and endeavors, they just don't pay off, you know, I mean, Mistakes happen. I made a bad shot and I made a mistake. I didn't I just, just didn't get it done. Um, my gut tells me that this deer, uh, if it doesn't get an infection, is probably still alive out there. You know, I'm hoping to hear from George that, you know, some kid or some other hunter takes it. It's a magnificent deer, or they get scouting camera photos of him and he's chasing does and thinking I got one over on y'all. But uh, at the end of the day, it, uh, you know, this is this one's this one's a tough one to, to swallow. Um, you know, no doubt about it, it's, this one's all on me. As Wayne had hoped, the deer started to show up on scouting cameras about a week afterward. And in fact, another hunter actually missed him later in the season, leading us to believe this deer just led a charmed season last year. However, Wade's already planning a trip back to the same stand next season in hopes this buck or another one shows up again. To book your hunt at Salt River Outfitters, look them up online at saltriverhunts.com. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. It smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom, from Conquest Scents. From sun up to sun down, day in and day out, we work hard, we play hard, and to keep us going during those long hours, we demand performance. <laughs> Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. From the backwoods, to the backyard.
Sawyer's permethrin, odorless insect repellent, repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and other harmful insects. And with just one application lasting for up to six weeks, you can enjoy the outdoors as much as we do. <laughs> Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. I came back from Afghanistan with a traumatic brain injury. I couldn't talk. I still can't talk right. I didn't want to leave the house. Then my wife, God bless her, she got me off the couch and said, hey, enough's enough. You gotta get back outdoors. The hunting gave me a whole new purpose, you know. It sped up my recovery big time. When I was deployed, I trusted Trader Con, and I still do today. Sergeant Rob Gustafson, U.S. Army retired. Trigicon, brilliant aiming solutions.